Hello guys, today I'm in the third of the seven international towns built in Shanghai. Today I'm in the Italian town and this place is called Pujian New Town, which is a, a totally brand new area that was built around 20 years ago. So 20 years ago this was all all around me was farmland and this specific area was finished up in about 2012. So it's called Pujian New Town. Now, from the first look, I must say, as far as exploring world towns in Shanghai, this is a kind of a disappointment because first of all, unlike the other places I have visited so far and the ones I will visit, it's not in one spot. It's kind of all spread out over a 15 kilometer squared area and it's not really clear what is supposed to be Italian and what is not supposed to be Italian. The other thing is, unlike the other towns, this was not meant to be a replica of stereotypical Italian buildings. The company that was hired to build or design this area is called Gregorio Associotti and the head of that company was into postmodern architecture. So they were not trying to be kind of stereotypical Italian at all. They were trying to be the opposite actually, trying to build something modern. So as far as I can see, the only Italian thing about this area is that the guy who designed it is Italian. Otherwise, it's kind of a disappointment. So what we will focus on in this video is just showing the life around here. I did find a couple of old videos about this area, but they were shot in 2013 and 2015. And at that time, this was a ghost town. That is no longer the case. Everyone has moved in. As you can see, there's lots of shops, there's lots of cars. You can see clothes in the windows there. Yeah, this is just a normal part of Shanghai now with postmodern buildings designed by an Italian architect, apparently. But yeah, I have an Italian friend next to me right now and he's <laughs> he is shaking his head saying, oh my God. Yeah, but he's too shy for video, so you won't see him. Alright guys, just found a sign that is just, you know, very relevant to the present times we live in. It's given some instructions to the local inhabitants. Shao Chu Men means go out less. Bu Ju Ji means don't gather, so no big groups. Uh, third one is Dai Ko Zhao, means wear a mask. And if my Chinese friends could help me with the fourth one, I'm not sure what it means, but I guess it's also something to do with being safe. Guys, look at this building behind me. Why would anyone on purpose try to design a building that looks like that? Postmodernism. Someone explain. Okay, so um, this area has quite a few malls and I just entered one of them and I went all the way to the top floor and the fire exit door was open to the roof. Nobody seemed to stop us to just go onto the roof. I guess it's fine, <laughs> but we can get a, a few good views from here. I am going to fly my drone obviously from here as well. Uh, yeah, look, this is the mall and they're growing vegetables right here. Hey guys, just found the local realtor and you can see some house prices in this area. So an 88 square meter house costs 7.8 million RMB. You can convert that. Uh, let's see a slightly bigger one. 155 meters squared. So that's a decent sized flat. 13 million RMB.
Right, I'm actually just at some kind of exhibi exhibition center. Looks kind of dated here. A bit empty. I don't know exactly what it was before. Probably some kind of art gallery, but we can see here in Italian it says Città di Puglia. Public art project. Città di Puglia. Public art project. So, some traces of Italian town here. And as you can see, it was built in 2007. So this was probably one of the original projects of Italian town right here. Right guys, so I think that is enough of Pujang New Town. I don't know, kind of a boring part of town, I guess. There's not much Italian about it, apart from the guy who designed it, as I said before. Thank you for watching, and I'm looking forward to the next one. I'm going to the German town, and that is actually German looking. So yeah, make sure you watch episode four. Take care, guys. Peace. Mm -hmm.